Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In the last video we have discussed about AIPRM, a Google extension that can be added in our Chrome browser. So how that uh, extension can be used in ChatGPT with the different options. What are the different prompts generated in ChatGPT like that we have discussed. In this video we are going to discuss what are the important features available in that AIPRM extension. So and what are the important options that can be used for our research article preparation. So thereby how we can make our research content better or project report better. So let us go on today's video and we can open chat GPT and explore what are the important options which is available in AIPRM extension. So we have briefly seen about how AIPRM can be downloaded and you can add it in your Google Chrome extension. So here these are the different categories you will, you will be having topic, activity, sort by so like that you can give. So here you can see these are the different topics available copywriting, developers, generative AI, marketing, operating systems, productivity, SEO, software applications, software engineering and so So next activity. So these are the different activities you can see script writing like that uh, all the activities here design games keywords positioning pricing product description code uh, script writing sports writing spreadsheets summarize text editor so these are the different options is available so you can click on that particular category you want to write so first i am going to give summarize so after giving summarize uh, just uh, you can see here you can see that uh, what are the prompts related with to summarize is changed you can see here blog post title generator meta title description there are about 92 prompts which is available in this extension so you can explore we already have discussed about tldr extra extract facts and summarize so like that analyze the website summarize so analyze the url and report all the key points concisely so this can be useful for our research article so just we can click and explore how it will be done how it will be done here you can see this is a uh, article related with your renewable energy the clean facts so what i have done is i have just copied the url and i am going to paste in our chat gpt so here i have pasted in chat gpt so after that it will generate the key points from the article so you can copy that key points and you can use for your uh, content creation so that way you can also you can get uh, a key takeaway so what are the important points pinpointed in that particular article what that article says about so this is an important option related with this chat gpt so let us explore other options also now next option is that research paper summary so what I am going to do is, I am going to click on that research paper summary. So let us see what it will do. So you can go for Google Scholar or any other sites to check your research paper. So I am just typed MPPT optimization algorithm. So here different papers are there. So I have copied this paper title alone and I am going to copy it in chat GPT. So let us see how chat GPT generate the summary for that particular paper so here you can see the summary generated by chat gpt so you can see uh, the new mppt based algorithm like that this research like that it, it will give so these are the important option so just now I, I am going to copy that again and i am going to paste that again summarize the above paper in three points points for literature survey with citations so let us give a prompt like that so let us see how it will generate so 
so here you can see uh, the three points is generated but the cita citation generated is a, it's not correct it is a different author name it will uh, generated so you can check out for this so but you can use this point to improve your literature survey so this is the three points it will generate this paper proposes an mbpt controller based on that colony optimization algorithm for photovoltaic system like that instead of this name you can copy the name of that particular authors in that particular paper so you can use this option also so next let us explore other options here you can see extreme text summarizer so here it sums up the paragraph without losing any of its meaning the result is a summary of a paragraph that is short as possible and will, while still keeping all of its original meaning and content so you can use this summarizer if you are getting many plagiarism in your particular topic so like that you can use this here you can uh, summarize a pdf just you are downloading a, a particular research article or a paper so you can use this pdf summary here uh, you can use this pdf summary to summarize the particular article next one is uh, effortless book summaries so if you, if you want a crisp, uh, crisp of a book there is a particular point of a particular book so you can use this effortless book summary also so next one is related with medical let us explore next options This is an important option, the 10 uh, multiple choice quiz, quiz question. So this can be useful for your MCQs, that is multiple choice questions, you can generate multiple choice questions also. What I have done is give 10 multiple choice questions in DC to DC converters with 4 choice in every question. So let us see how it will generate the questions. So here you can see uh, the first question, which of the following is not a common topology used in DC to DC converters, bug to boost, bug boost, flyback. So it is also generate your correct answer, that is flyback. So like that, it will generate 10 different questions. So let us wait for all the questions. Here our 10 questions are generated with answers. So you can use this for your MCQ preparation. That is, teachers, those who are those who want to give MCQ questions for your students, it can make use of this uh, prompt also. Next, you can also see summarize meet mini meeting minutes next steps like that also. So this is an important option. You can see positive review writer. So you can uh, write the reviews and you can, for your blog post content. So you can use this pro review writer. Next one, uh, uh, prompt generator. So you can create a prompt that is keyword. So you can generate the prompt. So next, YouTube video summarizer. For example, you are going through a video which is related to your research work. You can copy and paste and you can get the summarized content of that particular video. So you can make use of this option also. In this vid YouTube video summarizer, you have to clear, give the transcript of your YouTube video to summarize. So thereby you can get the summarized content of that particular video. So these are the important options related with your summarize activity. So here, what are the important things what we have discussed in this video is that we can make MCQ questions and we can summarize the content which can be used for your literature's review writing. So that is the important thing here in this video. So you can make use of this option to write your literature survey, uh, li literature review better. And also you can make different MCQ questions using this particular AI PRM chat GPT prompt. Hope this video will be helpful for you. Uh, thank you for watching our videos. Have a nice day. Thank you.